What is up, YouTube? Flutter RLC, and I'm back with my Arizona Dimex franchise here on MLB The Show 16. It's been way too long since I posted one of these videos, but I finally had a chance to sit down, edit a video, make a commentary, and do all that. Because lately, between school and work and just everything else, I haven't had that much time. So I'm glad I finally got a little bit of time so I can do this for you guys. And, uh, you know, I know that my upload schedule has just been hectic, but, you know, I'm trying, guys. I'm seriously trying, uh, but again, just with everything going on, it makes it a little bit uh, hard to make some videos. But, again, had a little bit of time, so we're going to bring you guys the first of a three-game set here against the Dodgers, who are tied with us atop the NL West, and we would like to win the series. Now, it's still pretty, um, you know, not, I, I don't want to say early, because, you know, we're halfway through the year but uh, it, it would be nice to win the series and leave LA still uh, division leaders so that's we're gonna hope to do is you guys are gonna see all three games from the series starting here Friday night a big matchup and already Granky having a little bit of issues here in the first as Corey Seager, the rookie shortstop for the Dodgers, getting a base hit there into left. It's coming up now Justin Turner. He's going to try to see if he can't knock in some of these runs, and we're going to try to see if we can prevent that. As you can see, the splits there versus righties and lefties definitely hitting uh, righties a tad bit. Better 3-0 count. Granke walks him. So base is loaded here, and Granke, after getting shelled his last start against the Reds, is hoping to get an out here. Two outs. Bases are juiced. Andre Ethier at the plate. Pitch from Granke. He pops this one up. Got him to chase that fastball high. Goldschmidt is under it. Makes the catch for out number three. So, bit of a stressful first for Granke, but he's able to get out of it just fine. And we're going to go on now to the bottom, or to the uh, next inning, actually. As still, uh, the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers are kind of hitting Granky well at the moment. You know, they're not really having problems getting hits and all that. A sacrifice bunt here, not trying to be a hero, just going to take it over first for the for sure out. The runners do move up 90 feet. So, again, you know, Granky has just not been pitching well as of late. Got a bit of a situation here. It's Carl Crawford now. I'm going to come up to the plate. He's going to get this one into center field. That'll score at least one. Not a lot of speed coming around at third. Here's the throw home, and it is. Is not in time. The run will score, and the Dodgers take a two to nothing lead on the Carl Crawford two RBI base hit. So that's where we find ourselves right now. Again, Granke just not the best um, of start. You know, again, uh, the game against the Reds got smacked around. This game, they're putting some pretty good swings on them. We're going to try to hope to uh, avoid that. As Gene Segura, that's a base hit into right. The runner moves up. So now uh, Diamondbacks trying to get something going here. Trying to see if we can't get some runs, get this game back to where we want it to be. Unfortunately, though, Goldschmidt unable to make that happen. He's going to fly out, and that's going to end the, that inning. So uh, we had an opportunity there, just couldn't bring anything across. As now Corey Seager can come to the plate now here, bottom of the third with nobody out. Granky here at the Pitch and that one is tattooed deep into right center field. That one is gone. A home run for the rookie shortstop makes it four to nothing. LA Granky again struggling as of late. And now the Dodgers have a commanding two uh, four to nothing lead actually on the two run home run by Corey Seager. Having an amazing year as 22nd on the year. And that was a big boy home run right there as he just, uh, I mean, I don't think it was a bad pitch. You guys can tell me what you thought, but I mean, it was low, it was down at the knees. You know, he had to kind of go down to uh, get that ball, but, you know, still, I mean, you know, that's just how good that kid is. You know, he can hit, so uh, not a very good start here. Kind of, uh, I don't want to say it puts us out of the game, but it definitely doesn't help. And then this one is deep back in the right, but David Peralta makes a phenomenal play to make the catch and get the out. Running all the way back, had to leap up in the air. That's definitely going to be on the Sports Center top 10 for sure. That was a great play there to uh, get that out. We definitely needed that. And then Peralta is going to come up now in the top of the fourth. The runner on first, one out. Trying to see what he can do. He's going to sting this one into the gap. Going to roll all the way back to the wall. Pollock can run. He can run for days. He's going to round third. He's going to head home. Here's the throw out at the plate. Pollock gambled, and he's thrown out at the plate. 
a tough, tough break there. And then Chris Owens is going to fly it out into right. Puig is going to get back to make the catch. And the Diamondbacks come up empty-handed in the fourth. Not the way we want things to go right now, but... Hindsight's 2020, I guess. He has Monty Grandal going to lead off the bottom of the fourth inning here against Granky, trying to uh, settle down a little bit. As this one high, deep to left field, carrying back to the wall, and it is gone. It's a home run. The wind took that ball right out of Dodgers Stadium. A wall scraper, but it's still another run on the board for L.A. Make it five to nothing. And again, Granky just getting beaten up right now. Again, you know they're hitting them hard. I mean, in the you know, in the first two innings, I mean they were getting some pretty good swings. We're necessarily hitting the ball all too hard, but putting good swings. But now they're hitting the ball very, very hard. That one though, I feel like the wind kind of helped carry that one out just, just a tad bit. That one was, that one was carried for uh, a long time. But again, it's you know it's a home run nonetheless. So now uh, the Diamondbacks are putting a bit of a bad spot uh, even more now. As Carl Crawford comes to the plate and Crawford crushes it to center field. It is out of here. A home run to dead center field for Carl Crawford. His third RBI on the day. And Granke gives up his third home run, make it six to nothing. So, not how he wanted this game to go at all. And, you know, it's just, I mean, it's a little demoralizing when your best pitcher gets knocked around like this, you know? And it's definitely going to be a short night for him, so I'm going to hand it off to the bullpen pretty much for the rest of the night. As 4:34, I mean that one was just absolutely tattooed. I mean, you know, not a very good pitch at all if he's hitting it that far and that deep. Uh, so, but uh, the Diamondbacks has got to try to bounce back. You know, we just got to answer. You know, that's what we've been trying to do all year. Just answer back. As Granky hits Puig on the shoulder, and the Dodgers aren't too happy about this. Puig obviously not very happy. And Granky kind of puts a bad target on the back of his teammates now. Because you know how baseball works with retaliation. So uh, Granky, uh, you know, kind of got uh, the kind of got the frustration to get to him a little bit. As both benches will be warned, the next hit, hit batter will probably end up being an ejection. So uh, Granky again, just you know, letting his his emotions get the best of him, and he's able to strike out Corey Seager there, and Granky limps off of the mound there as a very tough inning. As Wellington Castillo though puts this one into the gap, Tuffy goes to wish. He's around third. He's headed for home, and he will score. But Castillo gonna get caught in between third and second, tagged out. Dimebacks are on the board. Six to one now. As Paul Goldschmidt goes the other way, that's gonna go back to the wall. That's gonna score a run. Now it's six to two. The Diamondbacks creeping their way back into the game. Possibly, you know, you never know what could happen. We've done good at doing this so far this year. You know, we really have. Uh, so now we're gonna try to just keep them off the board. That's another base hit there. And if the bullpen can't keep them off the board, then there's nothing much our offense can do. I mean, only down by four. That's still kind of doable, but. You know, I mean, our pitch has and definitely got to do the their job. Is this one just left. popped Tomas up into left? There, under it is Tomas, fires it into third, and so there's two down in, in the inning. Trying to get out of the inning, and then Crawford, this one into left, hard hit, and Tomas runs it down, makes the catch, ends the inning. So the Diamondbacks again staying in the game, end of five. And now here in the ninth, as that one is hit high and deep to right center field, but Ethier is back to grab it for the first out in the ninth. Not much really happening uh, since that fifth inning as Peralta going to come to the plate now. We had a spectacular catch earlier on in the game, and Peralta gives this one a drive deep to center, gone. Makes it a three-run game now. David Peralta, another huge home run, continues to punish right-handed pitching and makes it a little bit closer. You know, get, it gives us a chance, and that's really just all we need is chance. And that's, you know, uh, but again, it's it's not looking that great for us at the moment. But again, you know, whatever we can get is good. As Chris Owens is going to fly this one opposite field to right. We gets the out, and that's two down. So... Two out, two out rally, possibly, maybe. I don't know. Tuffy goes to wish. Again, pops this one up into right. 
Puig under it. Puig makes the catch, and the Los Angeles Dodgers take game one against the Arizona Diamondbacks and hold a one-game lead in the NL West. So a tough game to lose, but, I mean, Granke just couldn't get it done. But, I mean, we only scored two runs on offense. So, I mean, you know, again, you could blame Granke for giving up those runs, but when your offense, you know, did as bad as us, we scored three runs, my apologies. When your offense didn't, I mean, your offense didn't really do much. So, you know, again, you know, it's it's one of those things where, like, how much blame can you exactly put on uh, Zach Greinke, you know. But you would think, though, with a pitcher like him, three runs would be enough. But still, not a good start for him. Not a very good day at the ballpark for us. But we got to bounce back tomorrow and win the game uh, so we can possibly have a chance to win the series. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm Fluttershy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. As usual, have a great day.